This is what I looked like seven months ago, and this is what I looked like when I revealed my skin. In today's video, I'm gonna give you behind the scenes of the Icon Skin process and what I did to look like this, and I'm gonna give you the official side-by-side -side at the end of the video, so stay tuned. So this all started in November 2020. I decided I wanted to take control of my health and I started eating healthy and working out and I ended up losing 80 pounds in nine months. And I made a video about it. I felt like I was in the best shape of my life, but I felt a little bit too skinny, not as strong in the gym. And I decided I wanted to do a bulk. Bulking is a gym fitness term where basically you're eating in a caloric surplus. You're getting a lot of protein in. Primarily the goal is to put on muscle, but Along the way, you're gonna have a little bit of fat gained during the bulk, but if you do it really well and you do it clean, it shouldn't be too much. And I wasn't sure when I was gonna stop the bulk. My goal was to hit three plates on the bench. We ended up getting to 300 pounds, but then I got a really important call from Epic Games, the creators of Fortnite. So I didn't know what the meeting was about. I thought it was about chapter three, and when I got on the meeting, they asked me if I wanted to be the next member of the Fortnite Icon series. I was not expecting this. And my response was, I'll have to think about it. And then I was like, no, I'm just kidding. Of course I want to be a member of the Icon. This is something I never thought would happen, but it has been a dream of mine ever since they announced the Icon series. So I spent an entire month thinking about what my skin would look like. And honestly, I wasn't really getting anywhere. I started thinking about all the popular guy skins that are in the game, like Beach Midas, Raz, Travis Scott, the Borderlands skin. A lot of the top guy skins are ripped and shirtless so I knew I had to do the same for my skin but also I didn't want people to say that my skin was ripped and I wasn't actually ripped so that's when I decided to stop my bulk and start to get really serious about this fitness transformation my goal was to look exactly like my Fortnite icon skin by the time it came out and I knew it wasn't gonna be easy up until this point I've done things all on my own but I wanted to take things seriously so I got a trainer Cody and I also hired my wife's aunt as a full-time chef who's gonna prepare all my meals. And I wanna give you guys a disclaimer. Not everybody can hire a trainer and have a full-time chef. This is something that I'm in a privileged position to do, but I really wanted to pull this off and make it the best transformation possible. I needed all the help I can get. We only had six months, and this was a moment in time that was gonna be captured. You only get one shot at an icon skin, and I needed it to be perfect, especially in preparation for the icon photo shoot. So how are we gonna do this in six months? I need to do a cut. That's basically where I'm gonna be eating less calories in order to lose weight consistently throughout the six months and lose the extra fat that I gained during the bulk and reveal the physique that I built. The goal is to lose the fat without losing too much, if any muscle at all. So that means I need to still go to the gym a lot, get plenty of sleep, drink plenty of water, and maintain a high protein intake so that I can maintain the muscle that I have. So what kind of stuff was I eating? I mean, the first time I was making my protein pancakes, I was having a lot of protein bars and protein chips, and honestly, I did away with all that. There's nothing wrong with that, but since I had a chef this time, I was having a lot of full meals with rice, veggies, shrimp, chicken, all kinds of different stuff. My chef was being very creative. Even though I was in a calorie deficit, it didn't really feel like it, and honestly, it felt like a cheat code. So let me show you what a full day of eating would typically look like. I would wake up in the morning, and the first thing I'd have is breakfast. I would have about 50 grams of protein and egg whites, and usually it'd be mixed with veggies. I would also have a cup of fruit with breakfast, and maybe some walnuts or almonds as healthy fats. A couple hours later, I would have lunch, which would be typically rice with a lean protein source like shrimp or chicken, and then a few hours later, I would have a protein shake with about 50 grams of protein in it, supplemented with some rice cakes for some easy to digest carbs. About an hour and a half later, I would typically go to the gym, and then after the gym, I would have dinner, which would also be similar to lunch, pretty much rice or potatoes with some shrimp, fish, or chicken. So basically, I had five meals throughout the day, totaling over 200 grams of protein. So what about supplements? We kept things simple. I had some multivitamins, some vitamin C, and I actually swapped to caffeine-free pre-workout, and that's mainly because a lot of my workouts were later in the day, and I felt like having a lot of caffeine later in the day made it harder to sleep and sleep was really essential to getting that progress. So I feel like I need to say this as a disclaimer for anyone watching, I am completely natural. Both transformations have been completely natural. I've never taken any sort of like enhanced supplements and I never plan to. I mean, I'm a video game streamer and YouTuber. I'm not a fitness influencer, so it's always gonna be natural. But let's get to the fun stuff. 
So let's talk about the training. A lot of you have been tuning into my gym streams and you were asking me why I was training, why I was getting lean, and I kept saying I was getting ready for my role in the Marvel Universe. This was just a joke because of how many Marvel collaborations Fortnite has had, but no one really caught on. They really thought I was gonna be in a movie or something. So pretty much the way my trainer had me exercising is targeting specific muscle groups every few days and giving them time to recover. So we would do chest triceps on one day, back biceps, leg shoulders or actually this time around I actually had a dedicated leg day and then I would do shoulders and traps on another day I was listening to my body if I felt like I needed an extra day to recover I definitely took that and this time I was actually doing a lot more cardio I was using the treadmill a lot pretty much walking on an incline my settings was like 15 incline 3 speed and we started off at 30 minutes three times a week and then we bumped that up to 35 minutes and then 40 minutes and then 45 minutes and then we went to four times a week and then five times a week and towards the last few weeks i was doing cardio five to six times a week and even in that last week i was pretty much doing cardio in the morning and at night totaling like over an hour and a half of cardio which was insane but it's how i got those results Keep in mind, cardio is not mandatory to lose fat, but to get the results I wanted with the timeline we had, I needed to supplement extra cardio to keep myself in a deeper caloric deficit and really look the part. So the six months were passing by really fast and week to week, I started losing more and more weight. I felt like I looked amazing, but Honestly, getting that lean, towards the end of it, my energy levels were extremely low. I was a lot crankier as well on stream. I didn't have that much patience and my motivation was at an all time low. But I kept going forward because this is one of my biggest achievements. This is a dream I've wanted for a long time. Being put in the Fortnite universe as my own playable character, like that kept me going even when I felt like giving up. So we're putting the final touches on my Fortnite icon skin and we're about a month away. Epic has made a a full Fortnite cosplay that I'm gonna wear during a cave photo shoot and I need to look my best for that one specific day. We started to do a water cut where pretty much I was drinking less and less water and the goal was to dry out my body and get rid of that water weight so that my muscles look dry and you could actually see the definition a lot more. And I ended up losing like 10 pounds of water weight in a little over a week. And realistically, none of you really should be doing a water cut unless you're starring in a movie or preparing for a bodybuilding competition. Depriving yourself of water like that, it's not very healthy. You're gonna feel really crappy the entire time. And honestly, it was the worst I felt during this whole transformation. And before I knew it, it was the day of the shoot and I was exhausted. After six months of working to get here, it was finally the day to get dressed up in my icon skin. I looked amazing. I was shredded. I had the six pack. I didn't feel that great, but I was pretty excited to get it over with. I looked like my icon skin. Like I worked so hard to get there. I was finally there and the photos came out amazing. I did it. I was in the best shape of my life. This was a moment captured in time that I'm going to tell my future kids about and I hope this video inspires you guys to start your own fitness journey whether you're trying to gain weight or lose weight in a healthy way. And for me it's not over. This is a lifestyle for me now that I'm going to continue for as long as I can. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.